All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. So, time for the Dokkan Fest uh, TUR list update. Now, uh, TUR is just not very good right now. Um, even number one in this list is really not the craziest. I mean, they're they're a solid character, but no TUR in this list right now is like a god, right? Like, you know, a couple of months ago in the 2023 meta, it's like, you know, there was crazy TURs. Right now, there a lot of them really are just iffy with heavy flaws all over the place. The game is just run by LRs right now since every ninth anniversary character is an LR. Just unfortunately how it is. Um... I am getting this in before we find out about the Saiyan Day unit. My guess is that the Saiyan Day unit is going to be number one on this list by far. Um, I mean, I, those are lofty expectations, but that is what I do think. I do think um, the Saiyan Day unit is going to be the best TUR by far. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, now, we're going to talk about Goku Black when we get there. He is on this list. I have not used him. Um, did a lot of research, talked with some people. Got a good uh, vibe of how Goku Black kind of performs. Um, you know, his issues in kind of like the ninth anniversary meta, yada, yada, yada. Um, but, you know, so we'll go in. But remember, keep an asterisk on my thoughts on Goku Black because he's not out on JP yet and I have not used him. It'll be the same when we talk about the easy ATR list, although that's easier because Kefla is just number one by far. Uh, you know, the chimpanzee at the zoo knows that Kefla is number one, so not tough. Uh, number one is 23rd World Tournament, Goku. Um, quite a drop, but, I mean, things change. Power creep is cruel. You can't fall in love with these characters and pretend that they're gods forever. When their time comes, it comes fast. People will talk about Goku and they say, well, that doesn't make sense. He has a key blast nullification, which can be good against Red Zone, Broly, Movie Boss Rush. Um, which, I mean, that, that Broly is a threat, so it doesn't matter in there. Um, you know, he gets to a million defense with guard, which is not elite, but a million defense with guard is still good. Definitely good. Like, we're not going to pretend that's bad. Um, but, I mean, that's not... Like, he doesn't start with a million defense with guard. You have to get hit 500 times, and someone needs to revive. It's just tough. It's really a tall ask in the ninth anniversary content. Now, a lot of these fights do go on long. So, you know, we could run Goku needs to get hit and Beast needs to get hit and much characters need to get hit. You know, maybe you're running Orange Piccolo, he needs to get hit. Like, these things can happen, but just the way things have progressed, it puts this guy in a very tough spot. You have to do so much for him to be at his best, and his best is not even capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big bosses anymore so it's like it, it's just he requires so much investment and the reward you're getting is just not as worth it as it was last year it was crazy but again things change uh next is piccolo jr now i was kind of like back and forth on goku and piccolo jr i think i settled on piccolo jr because he is kind of just less greedy in what he needs you know Piccolo Jr. could be okay without even a Big Bad Bosses character. He's got a giant transformation. He has a strong active skill. You know, a lot of those same things about him that were good last year are good. But now, uh, defensively, it is very easy for him to get crushed. Very easy. Um, I was using him in fights. And it's like, you know, just in the Beast Gohan fight. And then just, you know, Ultimate Gohan one-shots us. Does a million damage to us. Things can be rough. I mean, you do need to get additionals with him. He's still like not a loser character or anything like that but again it's just things are flipped right like the environment is different it matters what fights we're doing they're gonna add missions to these fights right like like shit matters so there's that piccolo jr at nine um next we can grab 17 and 18 uh i do not remember when was the last time they were even on one of these lists i i i, I don't even know when the last time I would... Because they weren't on my list in December. I almost want to double check when the last time they're on one of these. Alright, looks like Discord is broken right now. But I could just flash it on screen real quick. So, here we could see... Looks as though they were at 9. That's when Android 21 first came out. Um, that was when Android 21 was, was kind of like her original um, introduction. They're just in a much better spot. Remember, people were obsessed about Fusion Zamasu and not understanding really about, like, uh, whatever. I mean, I don't want to get into it, but uh, it's not that they were, oh, they're just weak against Fusion Zamasu. No, they're weak against AoEs in general, which included the Omega fight, which is the second hardest fight. Right now, the page crashed. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, there we go. Right now, um, 
there is one fight with AoE's blue Gogeta towards the end, which, I mean, they could be easily killed in there. But he doesn't, I don't know, I, his, his, it, that is a problem for sure, the Gogeta blue AoE's. But there's a lot of fights, Selmax, um, the Beast fight, like there, there's Trunks, there's a bunch of fights. Their two turn support can be big. But one of the big, the two big things happen. AOEs have much less prominence right now in the tough fights. Again, the tough fights, which are likely to get missions. Those are the fights I really care about throughout the year. We're going to get missions added to these fights. You know, what categories you're on, what typing you are, blah, 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 blah. These things, again, will all matter, right? And, you know, when we're talking about the actual game, which is all that matters. Um, now, 17 and 18, their weakness against AOEs is not as big a deal as it was. And... Tournament participants and refs the universe seven are way stronger. You know, we now have UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta who are 67 times better than anything this team had before. UI and Vegeta are literal top five characters. And then you have UI Sign Goku and then Blue Kaioken and Evolution Blue Vegeta who are like top 10 contenders as well. So, you know, we just get four top 10 like characters added to what this unit is trying to help. And of those four top 10 characters, three of them are Goku which means their unit super is not hard at all. So they're just in a much better position. Now, one of the big problems many characters have, Physical Goku Black has this problem, they have this problem, LR Omega has this problem. You have these characters that want orbs, but their orb, rainbow orb changing is either heavily restricted or turn-based or something like that. Uh, don't do this bullshit, this stupid-ass, dumb-ass shit. Get rid of this. Just let them rainbow orb change for free, Right? One reason Kid Goku and Bulma were so dynamic is because no matter what, they were always creating rainbow orbs, which is a really strong ability. Again, 1718, LR Omega, Physical Goku Black, all have restricted rainbow orb changing in some way, which hurts them badly. All of them. So it's very, very dumb assery, especially because they need the orbs. People will talk about their bullshit ass active skill, which sucks ass, by the way. This shit does not really help. A comic, comically bad active skill. Come on. I, so many people gas this up. Like, have you guys read what this does? <laughs> Dude, you, you think changing tech orbs to in key spheres is giving you a consistent seven orbs? Come on. So anyway, there's them. Uh, much improved. Uh, all right, so now we get to physical Goku Black. This is around where I think physical Goku Black uh, should be. Now, there's numerous issues for physical Goku Black, right? People are going to accuse me of being a global hater, which is still stupid as hell because I was screaming at the top of my lungs that LR STR UI Goku is the best unit in the game by far when he was a global first, right? Like, he was better than the 5th anniversary characters, Kale and Khalifa, all that stuff. He was number one, right? This Goku Black, I, dude, the design they gave him sucks for the environment of the game. His typing is really bad against Gogeta um, and Cell Max. I, like, Cell Max is probably the hardest fight and like goku black is unrunnable against cell max i like it's at uh, you you are high you dude like th this little guard and stuff like that like that, that shit is not gonna work that's not gonna fly against cell max you gotta hide him and it's like i think he could do a lot of damage once his domain goes up but currently i mean domain characters all have major it's it's just a problem any character that has a domain is hugely shafted right now. LR Broly, LR Fusion Zamasu, Goku Black. I mean, it's more so a villain problem because all these domains are villains. Um, Future Gohan, I mean, if you run him on a super class team, he's not competing with another domain. Uh, they mentioned um, a domain. I, I, I Damn, uh, let me find the exact wording they used. Okay, here we go. So in here, they mention expansion of domains. So, I, I mean, we don't know what that means. I, I would assume, you know, maybe they have uh, a domain lined up for like a worldwide download character and they're going to allow them to kind of like be used together. So if you're not aware, you cannot use a domain if another domain is up. But another, this is a rather new mechanic which came during worldwide download celebration, right? Another new mechanic that came is the target mechanic where you force all enemy attacks towards you. This can overwrite itself. So we could jump into a fight, use blue Gogeta's target mechanic, and it, it is an attack. He'll do like 20 million damage on the attack and then force all enemies to, to target him. But 
it, it forces all enemies to target him, and he is a dodge character. If we're fighting a dodge-canceling boss, which there are several in the ninth anniversary fights, then all attacks are aimed at Gogeta, and he's just going to get killed. So then we could follow up by using Beast Gohan's target mechanic. His target effect will overwrite Gogeta's. So we use Gogeta's, we got the damage, but then we use Beast Gohan's to take all attacks from Gogeta and target them at Beast Gohan. Domains, you should be able to pop the domain, do the transformation, creates the background, but then you could just use another domain and then that one comes up. It makes no sense. Domain characters just outright are bad until that's fixed, pretty much. It's just... Because LR Fusion Zamasu is great in Infinite Zamasu, but like on Broly, like with Broly Ron, you can't do it. And then like you know you're gonna run Broly, and Broly has the best domain by far. Like I, it, it, it's just like they I, they put no care into this character. Like they like they're they're clowning, man. They're clowning. Like this shit just doesn't like it's not really that good. His team sucks. Um, he now <laughs> okay. So against Gogeta Blue, he has nasty type disadvantage, dude. And it's like it's it, you need a miracle. Like if if Gogeta Blue targets this guy, you probably lose. Like if there's any attacks aimed at him, you're probably dead. Because Gogeta, his normals against this Goku Black are like his are his normals doing like 2.5 million damage. Like Goku Black to double digit tank Blue Gogeta's normals, he would need like like 2.5 million defense, man, or some shit like that. Like Go Go Gogeta's just gonna hit him so hard. And Sal Max is going to hit him really hard. So then there's the Beast fight. But then they gave us a character where he launches all these attacks, right? The whole gimmick of this character is that he just attacks over and over and over. And he's getting stronger and stronger as he attacks. It can be fun when it works correctly. But then they drop a boss who takes zero damage unless you do over 3 million damage to him. And Beast. So he has type disadvantage against Gogeta, nasty type disadvantage, nasty type disadvantage against Cell Max, and then against Beast, his gimmick of attacking over and over doesn't work because it's, it's going to be zero, 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 zero. So I, I just, like, I, it's just, his kid is terrible for the current environment of the game. And, like, he's locked the super bosses. It's just there's so many issues here. Like, it's not, not making that shit up. It's not hatred. It's not, oh, you know, jealousy or some stupid shit. Like, it's, like he there's legitimate issues here um now i do think this is actually pretty solid his key blast zonification because red zone movie boss rush is a real fight a fight they'll add missions to and getting sniped out by broly who does three million damage is not fun goku black essentially has a 70 percent chance to just cancel it and that broly does like the double super we could be running goku black in slot three we nullify the super and goku black has really impacted the fight in a positive way so that is good for that fight um, I, I mean, if, if you could utilize this a little bit more effectively, cause one thing that's nice about Goku blocks, uh, is that it, he just buffs, he doesn't debuff, which is good. There's no debuff here. Like that's the problem with like all these other domains is that you're debuffing your own allies. Goku black doesn't do that though. He's just buffing you, which is the way it should be. So like, I would love to. Transform with him in a Zamasu, transform a Broly, and then use Goku Black's domain and probably keep his up because his is just only buffing and not hurting any characters we might be running. Right? So I don't know. Um, I do think Goku Black potentially could be better. Uh, like if we get this domain update and stuff like that. Remember, he's still not out on JP, so we'll see. Um, I do think that this is a good spot for him, but he just in all of the real fights, uh, he just has major obvious flaws that are going to be a problem. And shit like this is terrible. This, like, this is, I, I mean, I don't know what, where, where does this do anything? On global against the weaker fights, yeah, it's great. But, like, what, do you think this does anything against the ninth anniversary bosses? If Blue Gogeta supers him right away, Goku Black is taking 3 million damage through the damage reduction. <laughs> like, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a joke. I don't, even with this, Gogeta will one-shot this Goku Black right here. I, 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 there's no way this Goku Black survives Gogeta Superin. Like, like right away in Saw 1 with this damage reduction. Like, Gogeta will literally kill him through the damage reduction. Like, it's just, it's, it's a bad design. That's not, that's not good. It, it's useful, I guess, against AoEs, right? Sure. That, that could make, which Gogeta does have. But even still, I mean, I, I bro, I, even the normals, the AoE normal would do probably a lot of damage to that damage reduction, I'm thinking. But we'll, we'll see once he actually comes out. I feel like this is a good spot for him. I'm rambling at this point here. Let's go to this. 
Uh, who's next? 21. Um, I had a long discussion uh, on the merits of 21 versus Goku Black. Uh, it's just, a lot of it is simple. She just works better in the current environment of the game, right? Like, I think maybe Goku Black's hot top end, but his top end potential is above 21. But I, I grade on what the character actually does, not what they can do. That's the point. I'm always talking about this. So 21, I... She can get sniped and taken out. Her damage, not her, you know, post ninth anniversary damage. Her damage is not good, um, but uh, we really need. To, so her transformation is what turn five, not a problem in the current environment. Really, we got to talk about this, dude. These active skill attack breaks, Cell Max, I believe, has an eighty percent chance to super every time he attacks. So he often does. This pans out in all my videos. He often does super right away. So 21 could just attack break that. Sword of Hope Trunks, same thing. Often just supers right away. We could attack break that. Beast, almost always instantly. He can only super and saw one. He almost always just instantly supers. These bosses are designed to to kill you. To, 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 to super before you can attack and get your defense, stuff like that. Um, and these attack breaks that this uh, 21 has, Frieza has, Tech Carnival Goku, LR Ultimate Gohan, LR Final Form Cooler... Right, like any attack breaks on an active skill are huge right now. Literal, like the reason Frieza works is because of his attack. It, it, like Frieza's team winning is we attack broke the super. Uh, that's the only way Frieza's team can win. So, like, like that matters. Um, I think Twenty One's team is probably better than Goku Black's. I think Super Bosses understand. Super Bosses is. It gets so much better if domains are fixed. Because if you could use full power Rose, full power Fusion Zamasu, and full power Broly at the same time, Super Bosses is very competitive. But right now, you have to pick one of the three, right? 21 and her team don't have these issues. LR Buhan is a dominant addition to, to her team, works well with Android 21. Um, it, it's I, I like 21. 21 is a lot better, right? Her flaws um, aren't really so bad in the current environment of the game. Uh, next, we have God Goku. I don't think we really need to spend too much time talking about God Goku. Um, God Goku can work pretty effectively in a lot of these super class teams. Um, you know, he's guarding with damage reduction and stacking in some of these longer fights, which can be good. I don't really like the idea of his transformation, but I think God Goku, he also has a good link set. I mean, he's really just bringing a lot to the team. Um, certainly, he is orb hungry, but it is still only three orbs to get the dodge. Although, I mean, he now even you know, guarding, like he's going to get hit hard. It is mostly about his dodge, but you know, TUR is just really are not that crazy right now, unfortunately. Uh, next is Gamma one, Goatma one. Uh, Gamma one is ridiculous. Uh, like this is abnormal, dude. He's, you know, this is the worst, by the way. Like how, why, how, why bro, the sink is just going to be so good. I, 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 can't, I I'm counting down. It's just going to be so good. Have everything the same. It's, dude, it's so stupid. Why a weak... Like, it's so dumb. I hate that. Um, anyway. Gamma 1 is still very effective. He's helped a lot by LR, Gamma 1, and 2 existing. Very powerful character, which is going to have all of his Gamma Android links up. 20% defense right there. 10% defense right there. 5% defense right there, right? Like, you get all that up. He's going to be a little bit better. He's got some guard. He's got some damage reduction. He has some support. Um, specifically talking about him against the Beast Gohan fight. You know, 70% chance to take away that super. Gamma 1's dominance against Beast Gohan is really important. That's why I guess they were comfortable doing an artificial life form mission. Um, I like Gamma 1. We don't need to talk about him too long, but he's just a nice character that could bring stuff to the team. He's good. He's definitely good. Uh, all right, next we have Frieza. This is where I think Frieza comes in. I We could probably drop Frieza as low as six, I think. Um, I, I, maybe I'm an idiot. I'm probably a dumb fool. I really would like to believe that they're not dropping Frieza into the game by himself. And he's going to get these terrifying conquer buffs. I've seen Frieza do really good things. A lot of it is the active. The whole design of the character does seem to be super, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine times stack up attack and then drop a nuclear bomb, 
with his active, which this is the only way his team can win against the tough bosses is that right there. Gogeta Blue likes the super right away, right? Beast loves the super right away. Trunks loves the super right away. Cell Max loves the super right away. So, you know, you, you can use this to get you through it. Um, Frieza, he, okay. So remember Piccolo Jr. in 2023, right? Which is, is here's the last TR list I had, right? I had him at three. This is literally the last one I did. So picture Piccolo Jr.'s impact in 2023. I think Frieza is just going to be a little bit of a worse version of that in 2024. He's going to be a worse Piccolo Jr. But that is provided he gets help because his team, it is not fun running Frieza because his team is just dying all over around him. And I mean, we could get into the next character. I, bro, listen, I, I, <laughs> listen, I know. Okay. I Stop it. I know. Okay. I know. But it's just like Frieza only works when, when this guy works. Like this guy is more important to Frieza's team than Frieza is. Uh, unfortunately, uh, like this guy, ha like he has, I, I mean, you could argue one of the reasons Freeze's team feels so unfun is because if this, if this guy is not the best unit on the team, you, you literally can't win <laughs> basically. But I, I, again, I, he's strong, dude. It's just, he has to dodge. He, he like he, ha he has to dodge. Um, that's, I, and I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I would love to drop him lower. But, like, he, like, you need him. Um, he does fit on a lot of these teams. He's on Broly's team. He's on Fusion Zamasu's team. He's on Frieza's team. Uh, like, I, it's just somehow I'm always running this guy. I, like, he's important. I, I, I know I don't want to, bro, I have a big smile on my face. I'm doing my favorite cat laughing emoji. Like, I, listen, man. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, and number one is Dragon Fist. I, again, I don't, like, I'm not. Dragon Fist is just, like, really strong. He's consistent and strong. Um, most normals, he will tank after he supers. Him being dodge or die is typically only against super attacks. Now, when you get to the big boss normals, Trunks, Blue Gogeta, like, yeah, at that point, he's going to need to dodge. But he works very well. He could do decent damage. He has a nullification which we potentially could could use against Beast. Um, you know, the Dragon Fist is very easy to jump into. Uh, turn 370% HP or turn 6. And then he gets the Scouter, and we could just either reset the app or utilize the Dragon Fist. Um, I find this guy to be really good, consistent, and, uh, like, tight. Like, he's just, he's a safe run on the team. He, he feels, I mean, maybe it's because he could be protected, by a lot of stronger superclass characters, whereas the problem with Harutagarn, Harutagarn is a dodge or die character who literally has to carry the team on his back. That's the problem with Harutagarn. If Harutagarn was an option we could run on some superclass teams and we just, you know, bust them out when we need to, it'd work much better. This is about where I think things are. Maybe I shouldn't have Piccolo Jr. and Goku on a tier below where they are. Maybe. Maybe Gamma 1 should go up. Next to Frieza, Hurudagarn, and Dragon Fist, maybe. But the top sp like, I just kept the top spot vacant, man. I just, I'm not really high on any of these TURs right now. Um, so, let me know what you guys think. Uh, top 10 TURs. Again, we are dramatically different from the last list. Like, it's not even, it's it's completely flipped in every way. I mean, I still like Hurudagarn and Dragon Fist up here, but things are mostly flipped. Let me know what you guys think about the top 10 um, feel free to tell me how stupid I am. I do feel comfortable with this list. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, one thing, asterisk on Goku Black. I, you know, I haven't used him yet. We'll see. We'll revisit, you know, once he comes out on JP. But, um, you know, one thing that will really help Goku Black is that domain fix will change things for him, I think, quite a bit.